Today, we're going to go over how to create a really easy template for mental clarity in Notion. This is my new puppy, Billy, and she's going to be in the intro with me because she's making a lot of noise. Basically, what this template is going to be is something to just brain dump. And that's something that I have used Notion for in the past and figured would be a cool template to make that's super easy. So if you're new to Notion, this could be a really good tutorial for you to follow. Now, how this came to be is last night I had a lot of brain fog because I didn't know what content to make. So I decided to create a master list of all my ideas and stuff I just want to do in general, no matter how hard or easy it is to get those things done. And I created a template or a dashboard to categorize all the things I want to do into separate areas, like home and work and health. And there are two links down below. One is a complete template of what we're going to build here today. And another is a template for you guys to follow along. Yeah, let's just get right into it. Firstly, let's take a look at the template for you guys to follow along. And that's the link down below that says follow along. You'll also notice as I click on my keyboard that I have shortcuts showing up on the screen. So you know exactly what I'm pressing and how I'm able to get things up so quickly. If I say Command Shift L or Control Shift L, I can turn dark mode into light mode and vice versa. First, there is a file at the top. It's a zip file that if you click on it, it will download to your computer all of the media images that I'm using inside of this template. So if you want to follow along to the T, you can download this and all of the images should look like this in this folder called Mental Inventory Media Kit. All right. We also have, you'll notice here, I have an icon here that is of a folder. I recommend using this website called super.so slash icons. And this website is really, really useful for free Notion icons that are super minimal. And you have a few different options here and you can toggle for dark mode as well. Now, firstly, inside of this follow along, we have an original database toggle and inside is your original database. This is where all the stuff in your brain is going to dump out into different entries in a database. It's called inventory and it's blank right now, of course, it has nothing in it. We have no templates, no sorting or filters, but inside, if you click a new entry in this database, we have a few different properties to start. Of course, you can add more properties here to customize for yourself. I have a few different select properties and what select properties do, for example, area select property is if I were to click upon it, we have a few different drop down menu options. So an area might be for health or for home or for work. So let's say something like create meal plan. I can also choose the difficulty of this. Maybe it's more medium difficulty, the time frame, and you can add more to this. And so I could say four day time frame, create. And now we'll add another option in the drop down menu. I can also go to these three dots here next to an option, change the color of it, or delete it entirely. There's another option for motivation. How motivated are you to do this particular thing? And then a done checkbox. Now you can see absolutely all properties we've chosen inside of this table, which I like to do. And how I'm able to look at all this is by going to the properties button here. You can hide all, show all, or just show specific ones. And you can also add a property from this menu as well. Going back to my page. All of my areas that are just placeholder names inside of that follow along page, I renamed to these six options. I have an area for admin, blog content, YouTube, social health, and shop. I'm gonna go into my original database. And this is just a big long master list, which I do like seeing. I like having the option of having a master list here to just sift through quickly. Now let's get into creating this dashboard. 
First thing I want to do inside of my main database, my original database, is to create a sort. So if you go to sort here, the top right hand corner, go to add a sort. So the first thing may be with difficulty. And you'll notice that it already sorted difficulty ascending with all my high difficulty at the top and low at the bottom. I actually want to sort this descending so that low is at the top and high is at the bottom. The next thing can be motivation ascending and at the bottom maybe time frame ascending also when you're sorting select properties it isn't sorting alphabetically if you look at difficulty it's sorting by how you are arranging the drop down menu so if i were to put high below medium High would be in the middle and medium would be at the bottom. You'll notice that every single one of these database entries has a unique icon, these lightning bolts. To do this, we're going to create templates. Now you can create a template inside of a database entry at the body of the page, create a template here, or go to this new button. Go to this down arrow, click it, and add new template. Let's say low difficulty for the first one, and that zip file that you downloaded, there should be a green lightning bolt in there to plug in to add an icon. First, let's go to the difficulty drop down menu, click low difficulty. Go to add an icon, click on the icon, upload an image, choose an image and then go to that folder. And we'll do the same for medium difficulty. and high difficulty. Awesome, now we have three different template options. Down at the bottom, add a new entry to this list and say new entry sample. And this is a medium difficulty task or goal or idea. And choose YouTube, maybe time frame, three day time frame. Motivation is high. And there I'll see it here. New entry example in my list. And it is responding to my sort. I do want to add another database view here. But before we do that, let's look at that dashboard. And we're going to create all of those areas in callouts forward slash callout. Now for every callout, there is an emoji to the left hand side. I am going to get rid of this. Now in that download that mental inventory media kit, there should be an option again for an empty image ping. We're going to use that. Click on the image in the callout, go to upload an image and choose that ping. This makes the callout look a lot cleaner. If I go to the block menu here, go to color, I can change the color of this callout as well. Let's change this to gray. Now, like I had in the example, I did have a title here for my first area, blog. In order to make this a bigger text, I'm going to use inline K text. So I'm gonna go dollar sign, dollar sign, backslash large, maybe with a lowercase l, large, backslash text sf, and have these curly brackets. And then inside of the curly brackets, whatever I want the title to be. So this is called ktex and inline equations. If you're not familiar, all inline equations can be made inside of double dollar signs. So I'm going to put my title as blog, and at the end, close it out with two dollar signs again. This should give me a bigger title. I could also say large with a capital L, be a little bit bigger. Could also have large 
with all caps, be even bigger, but also have huge, which will be, of course, huge. I think large with a lowercase l is the best one here. I can press enter from here and then tab. And if I keep pressing enter, I can expand this callout block. So I want to be able to view the original database inside of each callout. The best way to do that is to go to your original database link, go to the block menu next to it, go to copy link, inside of the callout, paste, create linked database. Now we have a view of that database. We're going to see the same entries. We can add to the original database through these linked portals. If I go to add a view over here and I go to list. It will put everything into a list format. That original table can be deleted. Going over to properties. I don't want to see motivation. I just want to see the done checkbox. Now I want to go to filter and make sure the only area showing here are entries in the area blog. So where property area is blog content. And then from here, I can sort like we did before. Difficulty ascending. Motivation ascending. And time frame. But I believe we had difficulty descending. And now if I were to add something inside of this little block portal, it will automatically go to area blog content and I can choose maybe what difficulty this will be high difficulty, change name here. And we'll see it at the bottom of the list. Also, if I go to the original database, it will collect in here as well. Once you have everything set up, you can simply go to the block menu of this callout, highlight it, and go Command D, and it will duplicate the callout. It will also duplicate that linked database with the same filter and the same sort. So all you have to do from here is change the title and change the filter to area is admin. And then to create different columns, I can just drag this block next to blog. Now that command D is a shortcut, but you can also duplicate via the block menu. Duplicate. And drag over to the side. Let's change this filter to YouTube and then change the title. I'll duplicate this guy as well and just do the same thing down the page. Filter by social, change this to social. Health. And which is shop. And now I can get right into adding new tasks, new ideas into each area. Now with these linked databases, if you click on the title of the database, it will send you back to the original database. Yes, it's nice to have this big master list, but maybe I want to view it in a different way. So I'm going to add a view, go to board view. I go to group up here that's now highlighted in blue. I can change what it is grouped by. I'm going to group by area. 
I can also hide empty groups. So any areas that I don't yet have anything under will disappear. Also, I can color the columns based upon what color I make each option in the drop down menu. By the way, if you go to the three dots to the side here, next to an option, you can change the color from here. So I can go to subgroup here and subgroup by maybe the done checkbox. So I can divide everything by what is finished and what is incomplete. And then drag these around, have finished maybe at the bottom. And these can be tucked away in these neat toggles. It will hide away all the entries like so. I can go to properties right up here and show a difficulty maybe and apply that sort again. Difficulty descending, motivation ascending and time frame ascending. So now we have a board view. Let's call this grouped by area and a master list. And if I go back to the home page, which by the way, if you want to quickly go back to the home page, you can press command shift U. And we're back to the dashboard where you may want to use to actually add the entries to each area. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope that you got some use out of it. Even if you're a more novice or advanced user, I did go through some tips that I haven't gone through on this channel before. And of course, all links are down below and everything else that I mentioned in the video will be linked down below. I'll see you guys next time with a new video and the rest of the week on Twitter. I'll see you then.